Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Oh, I'm, doing, I'm doing fine. Uh, I'm sorry for the delay, but uh, we're having a big storm over here. And um, it looks like uh, the internet is very, very slow. I'm sorry for any inconvenience. Oh, okay. Okay, can you hear me, Will? Yes. Okay. Yes. Teacher. Okay. Yes. Teacher. Very good. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah. start yeah, the hear you. Okay. Very good. Let's go ahead and start the class. Good evening, Miss Enrique. Good evening, Patricia. Good evening, Miss Alonso. Good evening, Jenny. Good evening, Rufino. Good evening, Rodrigo. Good evening, Gabriela. Olivia. Roberto. Good evening, Lorena. Olivia. Estela and Tatiana, good evening, all of you. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Um, congratulations to all of you that uh, you have finished uh, the midterm. Now we're going to have uh, a week uh, on uh, uh, um, unit uh, four. And uh, this unit is going to start with uh, kind of a, a vocabulary on geography. But um, uh, I want to concentrate my time on comparison adjectives. Um, those are words that we're going to be using to compare two things, two people, or uh, two ideas. But first, we need to identify what are adjectives. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and uh, I am going to, going to share the screen. Okay, and uh, let's see, just a second. The first question is what um, are uh, adjectives? That would be uh, first before we will actually, what we're gonna be learning is uh, comparative, comparative adjectives. That is the uh, the lesson about comparative adjectives. But before that, I want to make sure that we have uh, clear what uh, adjectives are. And uh, Jenny, can you tell me what is an adjective? Que es un adjetivo? This is... Uh that I say about the... Can you hear me? Okay. Okay, we can say uh, that. All right. Very good. Um, Morena Medina, what is an uh, adjective for you? What are they? Me imagino que son para darle características a las personas. Okay, okay. So uh, we can say that those are words that describe, words that describe uh, nouns, yes? We can say that those are words that describe nouns. Yeah. We can say that, yes, that those are words that describe nouns, but not only that. Also those words, uh, they give, uh, give us information. So we can say also, also, they give, give us information about, uh, okay, give us about the size or age of a noun. 
Yeah, they also give us information about the size or age of a noun. Yeah. For example, for example, for example, we have a uh, uh, big. Yes, it tells us how big is one thing. Oh, tell us how tall. It's one thing, Five. or how Five. young is a noun. Okay, so the comparative, uh, the, the adjectives are words that describe nouns, but also they give us information about the size of age of a noun. Examples nice. are big, tall, or young. Okay. Uh -huh. Also, they help us to give opinions. Opinions. They help us to give opinions about the subject, about the uh, the nouns. So we can say, let's see, we can say beautiful. Yeah, we can say that the, the noun is beautiful, or we can say that the, the noun is, is tired, or we can say that the noun is hungry. Yeah. yeah. So that's uh we, we, we can use them to uh they can help us to give opinions. We can say the noun is beautiful, the noun is tired, or the noun is hungry. Also, we can uh um uh, describe feelings feelings about the noun. Yes, we can say that the noun is happy. We can say that the noun is uh, is tired or sad. You can say the mm -hmm. noun is sad. Bad. Yes. No, no, no. Sad. No, no. Sad. Triste. Or, or angry. We can say that the 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 noun is angry. Ok, estos son que las palabras adjetivas no solamente describen una cosa, sino que nos ayudan a dar opinión para las cosas, a, a expresar sentimientos de las cosas, ¿ya? Y para también describir un, un size, o sea, un porte o una edad, each of a noun. So there are three things that we have to remember about this. That the adjectives are words that describe nouns, uh, words that uh, help us to give out uh, opinions, and words that uh, help us to describe feelings about the subject or the nouns. Those are adjectives. Okay. Now we're going to talk about comparative adjectives. Any question about the uh, adjectives? Alguna pregunta acerca de los adjetivos? Ha quedado bien claro, porque esto es importante para lo, para lo que viene. Es importante para lo que viene. Yes, yes. ¿Está claro que es un adjetivo? Yes. Teacher. Teacher. Okay, so now um, we're going to talk about comparative adjectives then. Okay, what do we use comparative adjectives then? ¿Para qué usamos los uh, adjetivos comparativos? Para diferenciar uno con otro. Para diferenciar o to compare. Oh, we, okay, we use, use them to compare. Use them to compare. compare. Yes, to compare. To compare what? Yes. Two people? Two people? Nouns. Or places? Yes. Yes. 
Or things. Or things. Yes, we use them to compare two people, places, or thing. Para eso usamos los comparative adjectives. Y como dijo su compañera, ¿qué nos dicen estos uh, adje adjectives? They tell us, they tell us how one noun is different from the other. Yeah, that's what they tell us. We use them to compare two things, two places, so two people, and they tell us how, how one noun is different uh, from the other. So those are the two things that you have to remember about uh, comparative adjectives, that we use them to compare two people, two places, or two things, and they, this, Adjective tell us how one noun is different from the other. Okay, for example, for example now we're going to see the examples. Um, Luis and Morena. Okay, Morena is taller than Luis. Solo estoy comparando. O sea, no sé si es cierto, ¿verdad? Luis puede ser, <risa> Luis puede ser así, bien alto, porque está sentado no se ve, pero solo estoy comparando. Morena <risa> is taller than Luis. Yes. Luis. Morena is taller than Luis. Entonces, estoy comparando a Morena con Luis. Yes. Y me va a decir la diferencia entre ellos dos. Sí. I'm comparing two people in this case. Yes. And uh, the noun is going to tell me how one noun is different from the other. In este caso, ¿cómo es Morena diferente de, de Luis? Que es más alta, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí diría Morena. Morena es más alta que Luis. Después vamos a ver cómo, uh, how to, to make these comparative adjective sentences. Vamos a ver the structure de cómo create them, ¿ok? Ahorita nomás... Quiero que me entienda para qué los usamos y qué nos dicen esos uh, comparative adjectives. No, lo usamos para comparar two people, en este caso, and tell us uh, how one noun is different from the other one. En este caso, lo estamos usando para comparar Morena y Luis, two people, y me está diciendo cómo ellos son diferentes uno del otro. Y es que Morena es más alta que Luis. ¿Estamos bien ahí? Sí. Ok, entonces Jenny tiene una casa y ¿quién más tiene casa? Everybody, ¿verdad? Vamos a, vamos a poner a um, Patricia. Yes. Jenny. Um, vamos a poner the house of Jenny o Jenny's house. Jenny is more beautiful, beautiful than Gabriela's Ga house. Okay, now uh, let me ask you a question, Luis, um, Luis Alonso. What are we comparing over here? What are we comparing over here? ¿Qué es lo que estamos comparando aquí? We're computing the, the house. The house is beautiful. Okay. So we are comparing two things. Acuérdense. Um, nos ayuda a comparar people. Ya comparamos people. Ahora estamos comparando two things. ¿Cuáles son las dos things que estamos comparando? La house. Y nos va a decir cómo house. es. El, el adjetivo nos va a ayudar a diferenciarlas de cómo una es diferente de la otra. En este caso estoy usando el adjetivo more beautiful. Yes. More. 
beautiful. more beautiful than Gabriela's house. The house mm. of Jenny is Absolutely. more beautiful than Gabriela's house. Entonces estoy usando la palabra more y beautiful y than para comparar. Ese okay. es el, el, el uh, comparative adjective que estoy usando en este momento. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Yes. Sí. Yes. Yes. Ok. Santa Ana is, uh, is bigger than Usulután. Yes. Santa, Santa Ana is bigger than Usulután. Now Morena Medina, double M. ¿Qué estoy yes. comparando aquí? En lugares. Places. Los, los, los departamentos. Places. Places. Ajá, places. <ríe> los departamentos. Places. 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 Mm -hmm. we, are, we compared uh, people. Places. We compared things. And now we're comparing places. Place. ¿Y qué es lo que estamos places. diciendo de los places? Que Santa Ana es bigger. Is Eso es lo que me está diciendo. Tell, tells me how one department is different from the other. Yes, in this case, we're, we're talking about the size of the department. So I'm comparing two places. Very good, excellent. So, esto es lo que quiero con estos ejemplos que usted vea que los comparative adjectives me sirven para comparar people, places, and things. And they tell me how one noun is different from the other one. Yes, esas son las dos cosas que quiero que usted eh, aprenda. Me sirven para comparar things, places, and people. Thanks. Y me dice Thanks. cómo una cosa es diferente de la otra. That's it. Si lo entendimos eso, we're ready for the next step. Si no, dígame para, para darle más ejemplos. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Dos Teacher, cosas, dos cosas. Este... Que quiero... Sí, please, go ahead, please. No, le, le consultaba de que el more que le pusimos antes de beautiful es porque lleva más de dos sílabas. Sí, ya vamos a ver eso, ya le voy a explicar toda esa cosa, la estructura, la gramática y todo eso. Uh -huh. Ahorita lo, uh -huh. que quiero que, que okay. estén, lo que quiero que entiendan son dos cosas. Una es que los uh, comparative adjectives me sirven para com compare people, places, and things. Y la otra es que los comparative mm -hmm. adjectives uh, tells me how one noun is different from the other one. Esas son las dos cosas. Para eso lo, los uso para eso y que me sirven para, para eso, ¿okay? yeah. para comparar cosas, lugares y personas. Esos dos. Mm -hmm. ¿Estamos bien ahí? Yes. Ok, beautiful, beautiful. El more, sí, sí, muy bien, excelente, excelente observación. Good observation. El more es algo que eh, se, le, se le pone ahí porque es más de dos sílabas. Ya vamos a ver las reglas de cada una de las sílabas, ¿ok? Ok, ¿puedo borrar esto ya? ¿Can I erase this one now? Yes. Ok. Right. Ok, entonces... Ya aprendimos eso. We learned uh, um, what uh, we use the comparative adjectives uh, for and what the comparative adjectives tells me. Yes. Okay. And uh, now, the rules of the comparative adjectives depends on the number of syllables that the adjective uh, has. Y las reglas dependen de cuántas sílabas de los comparative adjectives tienen. Los, entonces, vamos a ver, syllables. Vamos a ver cómo es que lo formamos, ¿ok? How comparative adjectives uh, are formed. Entonces, ahora vamos a poner, now we're going to put over here, how the comparative, comparative adjective, adjectives are formed. Ok. Ahora vamos a ver cómo los formamos esos comparative adjectives. The syllables, dependiendo de las sílabas, ¿se acuerdan? Ahora, the form yes. of the comparative adjectives. Mm. And we're going to put some examples. Examples. Very good. 
Okay, if the comparative adjective has one syllable, one syllable, see, how do we form? We form the adjectives, adjectives, by adding ER, okay? One syllable adjective, we add ER to the adjective and we form the comparative adjective. Now let's see an example. For example, for example, if we have a short, Short. short, short, okay. The rule says that uh, if this is one syllable, what is a syllable is the combination of a consonant and a vowel sound. So in this case, I, I have one vowel only. So this is one syllable word. So to the rule says that I just need to add the ER to adjective to make a comparative adjective. So short, short, becomes shorter, yes? I just added the ER to it. Shorter. shorter, yeah? That was short becomes because it's one syllable, right? Now, if, this is the other rule, if, if the adjective has vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant pattern. Okay. ¿Qué es un pattern? Pattern es un patrón. ¿sí? Si tiene vowel, consonant, vowel pattern, then what I'll, what I'll do is I double, double the last consonant. Consonant and add ER. That's what I do. So let me give you an example of that one. For example, we have big, big. This is one syllable adjective. And the pattern is Consonant, vowel, consonant. I'm sorry, this one is, is, is not vowel. It's consonant, vowel, consonant. This is consonant, vowel, consonant. So this one has that pattern. B is a consonant. I is a vowel. And G is a consonant. So yes. So the rule says that uh, in order for me to make the comparative adjective, I doubled, doubled the, the last consonant. Yes. In this case is the G, double the G and add ER and becomes bigger, bigger. Yes, bigger. Okay, now let's see with two syllables uh, adjectives. When we have two syllable adjectives, okay, and if if the adjectives ends in y. Okay, this is a rule. If, this, the, if the adjective has two syllables and the adjective ends in a Y, what do I do? Replace, replace. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to replace the Y for the I. 
And, yes, and add ER. Okay, that's what I do. I and send the Y replace I for an I and add ER. So in this case, if I have the word hungry, hungry. Now pay attention that this one is not telling you anything about uh, um, if this one has uh, um, one syllable, it's two syllables or more. Okay, so if this one ends in a Y, what do I do? It says uh, replace the Y for the I and add ER. Yeah. Yes, so it becomes hungrier. Hungry. Mm -hmm. Hungrier. Yes, hungrier. Now let's see. If I have the word noisy, who can help me to make the comparative adjective out of noisy? ¿Quién me puede ayudar? Happy. Uh, noise. Noisy. 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 Noisier. 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 Yes. See, the teacher is noisier than Luis. Yes. El maestro es más bullisto que Luis. Sí, porque Luis no habla nada, solo el maestro está aquí. Guau, 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 guau. Yes. <laughs> Luis Alonso no dice nada. <laughs> Okay, noise here. So that is the rule. If the adjective has more than two syllables, two or more, and it ends in a Y, then you replace the Y for the I and um, add ER. Okay, the other rule is when you have two or, two or more syllables. Yeah. Okay. Yes. More. You add the word more plus the adjective. Yeah. That's an easy one. So, for example, modern. 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 So the real the rule says I just add the word more. More modern. 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 Yes, more modern. Yes. Okay. More Let's beautiful. Do. There we go. Let's do another one. Expensive. Expensive. Yes. More expensive. More expensive. Very good. Expensive. Yes. And that is how we form the adjectives. That is how we form them. Okay, now let's let's uh, let's see the exceptions. There are some exceptions to the rules. And when we have irregular adjectives, for example, if I have good, bad. Of far. Yes, what do I do to make the comparative adjectives? So for good, we use better. We use better. For bad, we use worse. Yeah. And for far, we have two. We we use farther or further. It's either farther or further. Okay, those are, and we have more um, um, more the, uh, exceptions to the rule. Okay, these are just examples of it, but there are a lot of more the, to the to the exceptions to the rule. So this is just an example that I'm using for you, so you can uh, have an idea. Uh, when they're talking about exceptions to um, the rules. Okay. Any questions on how to form uh, comparative adjectives? 
No? Okay. Let's see if we can make a sentence out of the exceptions. Uh, Luis, can you try to make a, a, a comparative adjectives uh, uh, out of the adjective good? I want you to compare two things or two places or two people. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, can you please uh, make a sentence using the exception good and compare either two people, two places, or two things? Um, uh, my house is bigger than yours. Uh, good, good. I want you to make uh, a sentence using the exceptions, either good, bad, or far. Um, um, you need help? Okay. Okay. Yes, es que, let's es que have, estoy desde let's, mi celular y yo no okay. leo muy bien. Not a problem. Okay, let's have Jenny helping us. My, my laptop is better than your laptop. My laptop is better, is better. than your laptop. Yes, very good, very good. I don't like that sentence, but um, it's good. <laughs> Porque mi laptop es mejor que la suya. <laughs> 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 okay, no, good, I'm just kidding. La suya probablemente es diez veces mejor que la mía. My laptop is better than your, your laptop. Very good, excellent. Okay, Morena. Can you please uh, give him, give me another example of the word either ba bad or far? My dog is worse. Worse. How do you pronounce it? Worse. 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 The... Worse. 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 Uh, that, uh, is más enojado, that worse is the worst. Worse than my my sister, que es de mi hermano. My sister. My kid. No. <laughs> no, no, esa no es una buena comparación. No. No, del perro de mi hermano. ¿Ah? My dog was the... Para poner que el perro de mi hermano dorm. My, my brother's... Dog. Oh. My dog is worse than sí. my brother's dog. My brother's dog is un... Es una, Pos, uh, possessive, name possessive que usamos para indicar qué es lo que le pertenece a su hermano en este caso decimos brother's dog el dog de su hermano ajá cuando le ponemos la S al final el apóstrofe es yes. el apóstrofe ah, uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. ahí estamos diciendo my dog worse my dog is worse my dog is worse is than good. my brother's dog. My brother's dog. Yes, uh -huh. very good. Good job, good job, excellent. Okay, we need uh, one more. Let's see, who wants to try the other one? Yes. Any volunteer? Santa Ana is farther than the yes. Libertad. Yes, very good. Santa Ana is uh, farther than La Libertad. 
Libertad. Libertad. Yes. Santa Ana is farther than la, liber la libertad. Than la libertad. We can use also further, verdad? Further. Yes. You can use either farther or further. It doesn't matter. Okay. My neighbor is. My huh? garden is better than my mine. Okay, my neighbor's my neighbor's garden is better than mine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. My neighbor's garden is better than mine. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Es un buen ejemplo. Very good. Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta? Any question about uh, uh, the use of this one? Estamos bien, ¿verdad? Asegúrense que pueden eh, crear una oración usando los comparative adjectives. ¿ya? No se vaya a ir sin aprender esto, porque esto es bien importante, porque le va a servir para eh, desarrollar los ejercicios en la unidad. Así es que no se vaya a ir sin entender esto bien y decir, sí, yo lo puedo hacer. Si no quiere participar aquí, al menos póngase su cuaderno ahí y trate de hacer una oración y, oh, ok, ya lo puedo hacer. Ok. Ok. Then, um, yes. Now, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to see what is the structure of it. Ahora vamos a trabajar en la structure. Ok. Ya aprendimos cómo hacerlo. Ya aprendimos qué palabras vamos a poner. Ahora vamos a ver el, el structure de ella. The structure de una, de una oración using the comparative adjective. Tenemos el subject. Que el subject puede ser un noun, un pronoun. ¿Verdad? Subject plus verb. Yes. Plus comparative. Adjective. Plus. The word than. Eso que no se le va a olvidar. Plus the complement. Yes. Esta es la estructura que tiene que aprenderse. Si es posible, memorice eso. Cuando vaya a, a su cama, a su bed, después de la oración que hace, trate de memorizarse. Pídale, Diosito, que me memorice esta, que me memorice. Eh, haga un ayuno si es posible para <ríe> que memorice. Eso, ¿okay? eso es la the structure. Subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus then, the word then plus complement. Ok, entonces, hey, ¿cómo diríamos a Olivia Osorio? ¿Cómo diría usted, la casa azul es más grande que la casa amarilla? Blue house. The blue house is bigger than the bigger. House. bigger than yellow house then yellow house yellow house estamos bien ahí estamos bien ahí wg Ahí estamos bien, Olivia, o oh, anybody, cualquiera. Sí. Olivia, dice que estamos, Olivia dice que ahí estamos bien. ¿Cualquiera? ¿Alguien más? No. Es the biggest. The biggest. Biggest. Oh, yeah, but, uh, okay, biggest. The biggest. Okay, 
It's the biggest. ¿Estamos bien ahí? No. No, ok, que alguien me ayude, por favor. Biggest is that a uh, superlative. Es un superlative, no estamos viendo superlative, ¿verdad? Very good. Yes. Excellent. Good job, you, good job. No estamos viendo superlative. Only, ¿Huh? Of course. You only duplicate the, the G. Ok, we need to double. Only... We need to double, double the G, right? Yes, very good. The blue house is bigger than... Okay, one more thing that we need to uh, correct in this sentence. One more thing. What is the other thing that we need to correct in this sentence? The blue house is bigger than yellow house. No se me queden callados, ayúdenme, please. The yellow house. The yellow house, very good. The yellow house. The yellow house, very good. Excellent, good job. Excellent, buen trabajo a la que hizo la oración y todos ustedes. Ok. Uh, vamos a ver eh, alguien más, Patricia dígame que la música de rock es mejor que la música clásica de uh, rock. rock music ok, rock music uh -huh. eh, pues de rock music. Ajá, uh -huh. rock music. Is better. Better. Eh, tan, tan. Tan, very good. Tan. Classic. Eh, classic music. Classical music. Classical music. Yes, very good. Rock music is better than classical music. Very good. Good job. My goodness. You guys are good. Okay, let's see one more. One more. And um, let's see. Estela. Estela is, is, is jumping and said, teacher, teacher, I want to participate. Okay, Estela. Tell me that uh, your dog is... Dígame que su perro is uh, a más aragán que su gato que tendría que ser al revés verdad porque los gatos son más araganes que los perros pero en este caso el perro es más aragán que el gato señorita estela no le escucho o que le ayude Luis Enrique. Luis Enrique está ahí listo, diciendo, yo, yo, tiche, yo, tiche, yo me lanzo. Yes, teacher. The dog is missing. Okay. Dog. My dog is. My dog. Estela, ¿no? Estela, tengo que participar. My dog. My dog is moist. Is? More than my cat. More than my cat. ¿Así estamos bien? No. 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 ¿Qué cambiamos? No. What do we change? No es more lazy. It's more lazy. It's more, my dog more lazy than my cat. Lazy, lazy than my cat. Okay, so my dog is more lazy than my cat. Así estamos bien? No. No, 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 okay. So tell me. La pregunta que tiene que hacerse es ¿Cuál regla le voy a aplicar yo a este adjetivo? 
Pero es más perezoso. Sustituir la Y by I latina. By, by, by. I no, and I uh, are. Nice. Da. Ok. Sure. So la, la, la pregunta es, do we use the word more in this, in this sentence? No. We no, 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 porque no es más de dos sílabas. Yes. Ok, ahora, It's ¿en qué termina script. esta word? Why? 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 ¿Y qué dice la regla de las words que terminan en why? It the change. The the I. Or the I. I. E. E. R. E. R. E. R. E. R. E. R. E. R. Yes, my dog is lazier than my cat. Ahí estamos bien. Very good. Good job. Excelente. Buen trabajo. Okay, let's do one more. Uh, vamos a ver. Roberto Carlos. Tara, tara, tara. Roberto Carlos, dígame, el cantante es más famoso que el actor. What? El cantante es más famoso que el actor. El cantante. No. Que le ayude a Milcar entonces. The singer. Ok. The singer. The singer. Ajá. Uh -huh. Is more famous. Is more famous, 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 famous than actor. Singer is more than famous the than actor, actor. The actor. Yes, the actor. Very good. The singer is more famous singer. than the actor. Is the actor. Okay. Vamos a ver. Alba Saavedra. Alba Saavedra. Yes, teacher. ¿Cómo está? Very good, thank very you. Good, very good, very good, excelente. Eh, dígame, Excellent. dígame las botas, o oh, my botas, mis botas, mis botas son más caras que tus zapatos, dígame. <laughs> ok, my boots are more expensive than your shoes. Are more expensive than, than your, your shoes. My boots are good. more Very good. expensive than shoes. My boots shoes. are more expensive shoes. than your shoes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, uh, vamos a ver. Estela, cree que ya hoy sí ya puede hacer una oración. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Sí, chere, ella menciona en el chat que no puede hablar. Ah, pobrecita, ok. Ok, lo siento. ¿Qué tiene? ¿Tiene está enfermita? Oh. Ok, lo siento. Eh, Ok, entonces, um, ¿alguien más quiere, quiere probar uh, a ver si, si... A ver si está claro. My jeans. Ok, my jeans. Are more. Are more. Expensive. Expensive. Than yours. Than yours. Yeah. Than yours. Than yours. Yes, my jeans are more expensive than yours. Yes. Sounds good. Yeah. The girlfriend. My girlfriend. No, uh, that. Uh, no, the gir uh, girafa. Giraffe. What do you say, girafa? Giraffe. 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 Uh, 
the giraffe, um, smaller than elephant. The giraffe is? Is taller. Ah, is taller, yes, taller than? Taller than elephant. Elephants, yes. Yes. Giraffe are taller than elephants. Yes. Giraffe. Yes, very good. Excelente. Yo creo que ahí estamos bien, ¿no? Ok, vamos a hacer unos ejercicios, una práctica. Uh, vamos a ver, tall. Careful. Noisy. Uh, bad. Dangerous. Dangerous. Ok. El ejercicio es este. Ya. Tenemos bad y good. Ya vimos good también. El ejercicio es este. Usted va a crear, va a hacer los uh, comparative adjectives de estos adjectives, adjectives, y me va a hacer una oración con cada uno de ellos, ¿ok? Vamos a ver cómo nos va. Chat. Ahorita, sí, ajá. De chat. Solo póngalo ahí en su cuaderno, hágalos y me los, me los lee después. Jenny, ¿está todo bien? Yes, teacher. Ok. Pensé que ya se me había ido. Ya terminó. Dígamelas. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Ok. I like that. Not yet. I like it. Luis Enrique, ¿necesita ayuda? Sí. 
Olivia Osorio, are you okay? ¿Está bien? Sí. Okay. Just checking. Tatiana, are you okay? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Alba, are you okay? I'm okay, I'm finished. All right. ¿Ya terminó, Paola? ¿Are you done? No. Thank you. Okay. Okay, can you give me the one for tall? Me puede dar la primera, por favor. My little brother is taller than my father. My grandfather, dijo. My little brother is taller than my father. Is taller than my father. Yes. Yes, my brother is taller than my father. Okay. Anybody wants to try the other one? Other, me teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. My shoes are better than both. Careful is the one. Uh oh. Ma. No te sé, ya me confundí. ¿Qué no, no tiene la ¿Qué careful, confundí? entonces tiene la 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 que de Yes. Thank you. Okay. My shoes shoes are better are better. than both. Better than yes. both. Than both. ¿Qué son both? Both. Botas. Oh, boots. Boot. Q. Yes. Boot. Boots. Yes. Okay, my shoes are better than my boots. Very good. Excellent. Alguien me puede dar la segunda? Careful, please. Meditation. Okay, please. Thank you. The woman is more careful than the man. The woman is more careful. Careful than the man. Than the man. Okay, good, good, good. 
The woman is more careful than the man. Okay, very good. ¿Qué me quiere dar la noisy? Sí. Okay. Sí, te... Yes, go ahead. Me. Jenny, go ahead. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Me? ¿Quién dijo me? Noisy. Yes. Jenny. Jenny. Okay. Noisy? Yes, noisy. With noisy? Please. My little dog is noisier than neighbor's dog. The black cat in the noise. Noisy. Yeah, it's cat. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Very good. My little dog is noisier than my neighbor's dog. Okay, very yes. good. Good job, Jenny. Now I need uh, bad. Teacher. Yes. Disculpe, me tengo que desconectar porque tengo que ir a... Está bien, tranquilo. Un... Tranqui Solo terminamos esto. Okay. Vamos. Terminamos. Bad. Okay. It's men. It's walls. Okay, this man is worse. This man is worse than, than criminal. Than the criminal. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, uh, thank you. And the last, the, the dangerous. The firefighter job. Job, uh-huh. More dangerous than. Uh huh. The secretary job. The secretary, okay. Yeah, very good, excellent. I like this one. I like it. The firefighter job is more dangerous than the secretary job. Very good. I like it. Good job. Okay, that's it. I said um, we learned uh, about the uh, comparative adjectives and we learned the uh, different uh, um, rules that we need to apply to it. And tomorrow, what we're going to do tomorrow is that we're going to do a reading uh, in, regarding the uh, comparative adjectives. Okay, that's what we're going to do tomorrow. So I see you guys tomorrow. All of you have a good night. Okay. See you Good tomorrow. night, Good teacher. teacher. See you Good night. Room.